Hello Cancers! I hope you're doing well today. This is Lori coming to you from your Empress Energy. I have a new program today, but let's go ahead and get this out of the way first. Let's see what energies might be in the room or who you might be dealing with. Pisces, Strong, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and on the bottom we have some Cancer and some Scorpio possibly. All right, I've got the number die here. And on this one, we've got four, two, eight, and six. And on this one, we have five, six, two, and uh, five, nine, two, and six. Okay, so hope everyone's doing well. I have a new Oracle deck here called the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And I'm gonna draw you two cards from this to start. And at the end, I will read you your oracle message up from that and your message of protection, okay? So we will take care of that at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that, okay? And I just went through and resorted all the cards so that no two numbers were in sequential order. Then I shuffle, shuffle, shuffled, and as you saw, I just shuffled again, and I just cut the deck. So, hopefully, if they come out in sequence, it's just what the messages are meant to be. All right, card 35, which is eight, if you um, add that together. And eight is a symbol of infinity or ongoing life. And this is Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan, okay? So that's your first card. And your second card is card number 61. Turkey Spirit, give with gratitude and grace. I think that's kind of ironic since we give gratitude over turkeys at other times of the year. Okay, we'll see what that message is later. All right, so let me get the housekeeping out of the way. Tarot is not for everyone. All tarot messages do not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate with you, please leave it for those that it does. Your message may be found in an upcoming reading or in your, you can always check your, oh, your rising or ascendant. They're the same thing, sign, your moon sign and your Venus sign. Um, I happen to be an Aries sun sign and a Scorpio rising or ascendant sign. And I actually, my Scorpio side is just a little bit stronger than my Aries. So I, I listen to and read for both Aries and Scorpio. Okay, so this is a reading for the Cancers out there. And so check out your other signs, okay? Your ascendant or rising, your moon and Venus. Okay, and if you don't know what those are or how to how to figure out what they are, go to um, a search online, any web browser, and type in free birth chart and go ahead and have one done. Enter as much information as you have. It's just three questions. Your birth date, date, your date of birth, the time of your birth, and the city you were born in. Okay, so. Once you get that done, you get this really in-depth, um, you can usually print it out or email it to yourself or something of that nature. And uh, it tells you all about yourself and your different houses, all this astrological stuff, but it'll give you those, the Ascendant, Moon, and Venus signs. And those are usually the ones that have the strongest focus on us, okay? So, like I said, if this reading does not... Um, seem to resonate with you go check those out okay let's see what other mess or what other cards we can get here for a message for my cancer friends we've got the hanged man the high Pri priestess and the nine of wands so far so somebody's been using their intuition okay Ooh, that one flew out, and that one came out in reverse, and it's the Ten of Wands. So you are setting your burdens down. You have released whatever has been troubling you. Yes. You went from the Nine of Wands 
standing stoic as a wounded warrior, defending your ground, and then you put your burdens down. You're done. You are so done with that. Okay. And then we have four of pentacles, stability. Six of cups, looking for happier times, better um, relationships, communication. Maybe someone from your past is going to pop in and see you. Let's see what we get here. Let's get the rest of the cards. And we'll finish this portion of your message off. So, it's a good time to ask you if you find anything. Or no, let me start with this. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Whether you are somebody who has been here before and has come back or if you are brand new. If you are brand new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you. And if you are returning, thank you so much. That means I'm doing something right. And I appreciate all of you being here. Now, I would like to invite you to like or thumbs up that like button and leave me a comment. Um, it can be about this reading, maybe a question you have. Any comment will do. And if you feel so inclined, subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that you are aware of when new videos come out each week. Or actually, all videos, okay? Also, I have in the description box below this video or any other of my videos, you will find a schedule of the re weekly readings, okay? I will be changing that schedule up because... I'm going to keep the Zodiacs the way they are, but I will be adding to that schedule. So make sure you go back and check that schedule every now and then, okay? Awesome. Thank you for letting me get through all of the stuff I have to get through. I am required to say all these things, by the way. All right, we got an extra card here. And they came out together. All right, and this one tried to come out. Whoa. All right. And on the bottom of the deck... We've got strength, okay? So we've got the Fool, Temperance, and the Wheel of Fortune. Boy, Cancers, you can't ask for better. Right here. Okay, let me see what's going on here, okay? We've got the Hanged Man here, the High Priestess, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands in Reverse, which is awesome, Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Three of Wands. Then you've got, this all came out together. The Fool, Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune, and then on the bottom of the deck is the Strength card. And this was showing Queen of Pentacles, okay? I will go further into that in a minute. But it looks to me like you feel like you have been sitting stagnant, um, thinking, thinking, thinking how you can do something better, what you can do to improve. And I'm getting a strong sense of business here, okay? Pentacles represents coins which represents your money, you know, where you are in the world. Um, and I think that Queen of Pentacles was meant to come out to show you that you've been sitting stable with your money, okay? However, you are going to be increasing it. So whatever idea you have come up with for your business, for your financial life, you, your intuition has proven right, okay? Okay. You have been standing, defending yourself about this, standing your ground. You've had to stand your ground about this, okay? But you are putting your burden down. You're stable. Right now, you're stable, okay? Your finances are fine, and you're looking for happier times. But I think somebody from your past is coming in to see you and is going to be helping you with this somehow. Okay? You're going to have a choice. You've had a choice to make. And you made it. Now you're waiting for your ship to come in. And <laughs> you can't ask for better energy than to have the Fool, the Temperance, and the Wheel of Fortune. All come out of the deck at the same time. Okay? So the Fool is starting a new new adventure like whatever it is here that you were thinking about doing you're starting it here it's the the divine is asking you to use temperance though 
Make sure things stay balanced. The Four of Cups, bal or Four of Pentacles, balance, okay? Six of Cups, balance. That's what is really being st um, strongly, strongly urged here. But the Wheel of Fortune has turned in your favor, okay? What was down here is now up here, and you are just, yes, this is the way to go. It's going to it's going to take him some strength and compassion to move forward. OK. <laughs> and on the split of the deck, you got the Ace of Cups. That's like the heaven saying, um, yep, sure. I've seen your hard work. I've seen what you're planning and I agree with it. And as long as you keep the balance, you don't go overboard. You don't take anything too far and you use compassion okay that compassion that temperance that's important right here the strength the temp uh compassion really really that's the heavens are saying we see what you're wanting we'll give it to you you've worked very hard for it but you have to maintain balance and uh compassion the queen of pentacles here that indicates strength in knowing your finances you're stable you are growing from the Four of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. You've got choices to make, so use caution. Okay, here's the Two of Wands, but you're from the Two of Wands to the Three of Wands. You've made your choice, and now you're looking for your ship to come in. Okay, here's the Ace of Wands. This is, yeah, these are new starts. Aces represent new starts. The Wheel of Fortune, new start. The Fool, new start. Um, yeah. The Ace of Wands is the, um, creative aspect, okay? This is the emotional, um, intellectual, it can also be inspirational, but this is definitely inspirational. And your hard work has been, uh, ignored in the past, okay? You were kind of feeling left out in the cold, but um, here's the Ace of Swords. That's three out of four Aces, in this reading right now and we have we've only on the first deck all right two of pentacles balance and then the hierophant okay this is an awesome reading so far cancers basically whatever endeavor you're looking to get into it looks like you've used your intuition you've done your research and everything else okay Maybe somebody from the past stepped in and gave you some advice. But you should, it, it sounds, I'm hearing you should move forward. Trust yourself and move forward. Slowly, a little bit at a time. That's that temperance and balance. And of course, have compassion. Compassion, I'm getting that strongly if you're involved with other people. Okay, so like, well, you have to have compassion only if you're involved with other people or for yourself. This could be for yourself for some of you, but I'm getting a strong sense that the strength and the temperance is meant for you if you're in a work situation where other people may be counting on the outcome of this situation too. Or if you are, say splitting the bills with somebody, married to somebody. Um, you're, some, you're responsible with somebody else when it comes to your money. So don't risk anything, okay? N nothing major. It's small steps, stable, balanced steps, okay? But yes, your intuition is right. Whatever you think you should be heading towards, Yes, it, it looks really good. The universe is saying yes, they agree. Four of Corps, cup. If I can only speak, Four of Cups. Usually that indicates boredom. You're, you're tired of the situation. You don't know which direction to go. It's in reverse. You've made up your mind and you're heading in the right direction. Okay, so you're, you're not going to be bored for much longer. You're feeling very inspired. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Swords. This is a quick moving action. So two different ways this can read. 
you've made your decision and you're going to rush forward and go right into this project, I hope if that is the case that you remember to stay balanced, use compassion, okay? Or this could read as you've got a message that's going to come in really quickly and with your intuition, you're going to know it's the right direction to go. And I think it may be um, somebody from the past bringing you this message. That's take it, take it as it resonates. Some of you it's going to fit for and some of others, it's the other way is going to fit better. Okay. So take it as it resonates. Let's see what else we've got here. Ace of cups. Okay. Ace of cups. The universe is, is saying yes. Yes. Okay. Queen of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. The universe is saying, go slow, keep yourself balanced, and yes, I recognize what you want. I've seen your hard work, and you do not have to st uh, defend yourself anymore. Let's move forward. We've got the Queen of Wands here, okay? She knows herself. She's very inspired. She's a very passionate person. The devil, okay? And look what's right behind it. So you're a very passionate energy, Cancer, okay? When you get an idea, you become very, very um, impassioned, okay? With this devil and temperance right here, if you can maintain that temperance, you've got your victory, okay? It's going to be a struggle. It is going to take strength right there. It's going to take strength to get to keep that balance, but you can do it. You've got, you've got the victory showing and use your intuition again. If you get feeling like something's not right, bail. Don't just keep throwing money after bad, good money after bad, as they say. And then right behind that, um, uh, the emperor. So these two would be like a, a power couple, the queen of wands and the emperor, all fiery um, energy. And then you've got the sun. Okay. So the sun represents peace, joy, happiness, um, getting what you want, crossing the finish line. Whoops. Oh, let's see what else can it tell you. They it, basically, <laughs> I'm telling you, Cancer, this is a really good reading. Really good reading. I mean, this is like the the universe encouraging you to take the next step okay put your burdens down use your intuition stay balanced stay compassionate and you're going to get what you want and uh that four cups in reverse you're not going to be bored for long and if you're over the boredom you're going to be flying with things to do four of pentacles again stability wheel of fortune again that any time that these two cards come out in the universe, I mean, these, these are major arcana cards here, okay? These are major arcana. All three of these, the Fool, Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune, Strength, four of them, those are all major arcana. That's major life happenings. And we have the Hierophant here. Okay, I'm not done, but I saw him here, which speaks of learning, um, following the traditional way of doing things, okay? Making sure that if you're doing something, it's the right way to do it, okay? But with all these major arcanas, this means something big in your life. Okay, this is the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. You're ending some sort of cycle. Maybe you were without money. Maybe you were struggling for money all the time. But it looks like if you go forward with this, <laughs> couldn't get more clear confirmation of this. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. You are sitting pretty. You have your wealth. Okay, you hit well, wealth to everybody means a different thing. However, you are in a good financial position. Okay, she does not look like she's stressing out or working hard to make her money. Okay, and look, a wish fulfilled. 
That is awesome. Oh, that is really awesome. I, however, on the bottom of the deck, we have a tower moment. Oh, and here's the fool again. Okay? Don't worry about this tower moment. The tower moment means it could be in the past. It could be now. But I have a feeling something causes you. This message causes you to have a tower moment. Your intuition tells you you've been leaving yourself out in the cold. You're not giving yourself enough credit. You're always defending yourself, okay? And you, right here, nine of wands, seven of wands. You're, you're just constantly defending yourself and you're working too hard. And you finally realized in this tower moment, this epiphany that happens, that you can put this heavy load down. And I think that this, again, is that message from somebody from the past. For some of you, it's a message from the past. For others of you, it's your higher intuition telling you. And you have an epiphany. I don't have to do it this way. There are easier ways to do this, okay? And then you have the Ace of Swords. Clear cut communication. Um, clarification from the heavens. And if I haven't said it, Aces are new beginnings. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, and you've got two, three of them here. You got two Ace of Cups. So again, they're reiterating that particular message. The Queen of Cups. This is just awesome energy. Okay, communication. The Devil. And the Devil right there again, right before the victory. So again, speaking of balance, victory and then sailing away to smoother waters. Cancers, this is an awesome, awesome reading. This is fantastic, okay? Let me go ahead and roll this die with the letter no, letters on it, and then I'll read you what the messages are from these, okay? So five, five rolls of the die. All right, the letter I. And if you haven't been here before, there's 26 letters on here plus um, a couple of wilds on each one. If you want to take a screenshot, okay? So the letter I is on top. That was roll one. That's a U, okay? So the U is on top. I hope this is clear. I'll hold it just like that for a screenshot. Three, G, okay? Screenshot. Four. Wow, that was loud. We've got a V. And last roll. That didn't go very far, but we've got a K. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's the K. Now, let me read to you card 35 and 61. And these are a little bit long, so bear with me. Because they give you both the Oracle message and the protection message okay so koala spirit it says in nature the koala speaks no let's start this over again okay blah, 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 blah. card 35 koala spirit spirit has a plan your oracle message is in nature the koala moves slowly through the branches of the eucalyptus tree leisurely chewing the leaves, reminding us that life is not a race or a competition. Chasing around after every distraction can keep us from recognizing that we have all we need and that spirit will always be there with gifts to sustain us. You are being asked to trust that by moving slowly with faith in the abundance that is everywhere, Surrendering to a power greater than yourself, you will be able to experience the manifestation of your desire. As you take your time enjoying the riches available to you right now, sitting peacefully, you begin to radiate the joy and abundance you seek. Spirit is here to help you discover happiness, pleasure, and contentment. All gifts that are yours now and in the future. Have faith and trust in Spirit's plan for you, and know that you are loved and cherished. That's a nice message. I like that. Okay, your protection message is, are you feeling uneasy and mistrustful of the world? Have you been hiding in a safe 
place, afraid to venture out because you're convinced that life and other people will disappoint you. Oh boy, I just got a download on that one. Okay, that was speaking directly to me. All right, my cancer friends, Koala Spirit has appeared to let you know that your faith is misplaced. The present safety you seek is already passing away because all things are temporary and outer conditions are always changing. Find your safety by placing your faith and trust in spirit who will grow the abundance that is already yours. Now, I think that's funny that I got that message. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I just think it's really funny that I felt strongly, I still feel strongly, that message was meant for you. Cancers, if you resonated with that, if you felt like it was your message, please drop me a comment down below. I'd really love to talk to you about that. Okay, let me finish this up. Perhaps you are acting slowly and overly cautiously because you lack faith that there is more for you out there than what you know. You may have boxed yourself into a safe place that has nothing else to give you and become so familiar with it that you have forgotten to explore. Are you feeling pessimistic and convinced there is nothing more out there for you? Koala Spirit reminds you that self-care is meant to replenish you so that you can venture out again in faith, trusting that there is no limit to the joy Spirit wants you to experience. Be good to yourself and reconnect with Spirit to reclaim your faith in things yet unseen. Okay, I, I, it, it still resonates with me, but more so that first part, that first sentence or two, really resonated on a different level than what this message is perhaps speaking about. But again, I just moved to a new area here in Florida, and I have been working very hard building my YouTube channel and setting up a new apartment. So I was living in an RV, a Class A motorhome, and traveling in the United States just a few months ago. And here I am now setting up all of this. So, so many changes, okay? Part of me kept saying, get out there and explore, go see what's around you. And every now and then I do, but a bigger part of me keeps me here in the house saying, I'm comfortable here, I'm okay here. I don't really wanna go out there because I've been so disappointed in people lately and that's really sad that's a sad place to be and i don't i'm not a sad person i move on so i eventually will get out there and really explore really go meet other people but until then i will have to listen to that message and contemplate that and uh get myself out there so if you're going through something like that leave me a comment send me a message my email address is in the description box below Okay, my cancer friends, I hope you have an awesome week. Oh, I didn't read you turkey spirit. Sorry, I'll do that now. Let's see. That's card 61. Wow, how could I almost forget that? I got so caught up in that koala spirit. Which, by the way, this koala is really cool. Look at how cute that thing is. <laughs> okay, card 61. The turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Your oracle message is. Turkey spirit's message for you is that you always have the potential for manifesting a rich reality. For the turkey represents generosity and a celebration of abundance through giving to others. Give freely without expectation and you shall receive. For the manifestation of abundance is happening right now. Align with it by sharing your good fortune with others, whether you give money, loving guidance, the gift of listening, or kindness in any form. Immerse yourself in the flow of generous abundance, being a channel for turkey spirit and the desire of spirit to see all beings experience the blessing of plenty. Give with gratitude and grace from a wellspring of love and compassion knowing that spirit will respond by giving you all that you need in this moment and all moments to come. Your protection message is, are you giving in order to receive in kind, keeping tally of how much you have given and what is owed you? This is not the way to experience abundance. When Turkey spirit is in the protection 
position, it is a reminder to let go of any perception of scarcity or fear that if you give too much, you will not have enough for yourself. Use your spiritual practices to reconnect with spirit and remember how it feels to embody imb abundance and you will give as much as is needed right now. Knowing that whatever you need to fill your sto stores is coming to you right now. Love, prosperity, knowledge, and assistance from allies who are everywhere and want you to be the abundance you seek. Turkey Spirit is here to tell you that everything evens out when you are aligned with the law of abundance as Spirit wants you to be. Abundance is yours. That's pretty cool. I guess we could all use that reminder, right? So, Turkey Spirit. Card 61 or card number 7. That equals 8, infinity, 7. Yes. All right, my Cancer friends, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or anything else. Ring the bell until our energies cross again. I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.